Hi folks, um, you're about to see my very first episode with a guest of uh, Parents in Bed Eating Ice Cream. I just want to let you know that I tried to film it on my laptop as well as my phone here. Um, we talk mostly to the laptop and kind of it didn't record properly. So I apologize for the camera work or lack thereof on this upcoming episode, but You'll have to forgive me. And if you don't, you're being judgy, which is not cool. And you'll hear more about judginess in the upcoming episode. This will also get explained, although it's fabulous. Why does it need to be explained? Um, hope you enjoy the show. Bye. That one's okay. a little close, but record too. Okay. Hi. Hello. So welcome to my next episode of Parents. I actually have another parent here in bed eating ice cream. Super excited. Um, my very, very, very first guest is Carrie. Hi. Um, we've been friends for a couple of years. Yep. Our boys went to daycare together and kindergarten. kindergarten. Mm -hmm. um, I will let her tell you a little bit about herself. Well, let's talk about the ice cream. Oh, first. right. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Um, Chapman's. Mm. And we're filming this on two cameras <laughs> right now because we just did about a half hour episode that somehow stopped recording. Um, That's not good. And so now... So we didn't get anything. Truth so. to be told, this is our second, second ice, ice cream. <laughs> and I gotta say, I feel no guilt about that for a couple of reasons. One... It's for a good cause. You're helping me out. Right. The first time I didn't record, so we have to do it again. Secondly, right. you know what? I'm grown up. If I want to have two ice creams, I'm going to have two ice creams. That's right. I waited all my yeah. life for this. You know what? It's so true. <laughs> like, I feel bad. Like a second my, cookie? I'm going to have a second cookie. My grandmother's 94. Okay. My mom sometimes gets upset. Because um, she, like, won't eat dinner, but then she wants Cheetos. And I'm like, the lady's 94. <laughs> Let her Let eat, her eat what Cheetos. she wants, Seriously, right? Like, it's man. not like her diet is not, like, a huge concern right now. Um, so I am going to enjoy this one even more than we enjoyed the first round. Right. These are my favorite. Um, so we aren't okay. going to recreate our last conversation. Um, because, yeah, we because we were just talking and... Obviously didn't realize what was going on because it stopped recording. Okay. Um, but I will, I did want to kind of say that I did have negative feedback of my first two episodes. Which I'm really surprised um, about actually. But you know what? Um, it was mainly like concern that I was sharing too much, sorry, um, online. And I get that. I get that it also might be a generational thing. Okay. Um, but this to me um, was about... I've seen a couple of other people blog or vi just even do like a single video online and talk about something that they were struggling with or that, mm -hmm. um, and I thought, wow, um, it's so awesome to hear somebody else talk about that because right. I don't feel so alone. I don't feel like such a bad mother right. because I feel this way. Um, and so Carrie and I, in our last conversation that you missed, sorry, <laughs> um, we're talking about judginess. Yeah. And um, I'm going to have Carrie back because we had an amazing talk before that we'll have like different topics to talk about that mm -hmm. we share and we have similarities and differences on that are great to discuss with for other people to know. Um, but judginess was just kind of one that yeah. we were bonding on. So Just about being judged as mostly as a parent, as a mother in particular, mm -hmm. like in a different way than fathers are. Like, it drives me right around the bend. If I'm going out with work colleagues or with friends or whatever, mm -hmm. and my mom or another person will say, oh, so Mark's babysitting tonight? I'll be like, no, he's mm -mm. not. No. Not paying him a thing. Yeah. You know, he's parenting. Like, he's... Right. And, and it makes it sound like, oh, oh like, he's doing this oh, amazing, he's so amazing thing. He's yeah. doing this amazing thing mm -hmm. by being with his own children for a couple of hours. Oh, like... Mm -hmm. it drives me crazy and it's and why is why <laughs> but it also bothers me because I think I'm very lucky I know you're very lucky we in are. that we have hands-on husbands mm -hmm. and fathers especially and who are very capable right and who want to be with their kids mm -hmm. um and I think sometimes the way that people talk about dads or fathers true um it kind of like it lessens what they do. Yeah. Right? They're not babysitting their kids. They're parenting their right, kids. Right, They're right. spending time with their kids. Right. And, like, I hate when um, 
there's just so much stuff online about oh how dads are useless or how dads are which really is upsetting i mean like from my own father because my my dad worked nights and my mom was a teacher right so my dad was very hands-on i have a brother who's an amazing father my husband and it just bothers me that like i get that there are shit Dads out there, there are crap mothers There's out crap there as well. Everybody, right? right? But um, I think most people are good. That's yeah. the thing, right? So it's especially with there's so much social media and everyone's on Facebook telling about their stuff and everyone you can see the nicest thing on Facebook. Somebody put something a beautiful, a lovely story, heartwarming, mm-hmm. amazing. And you look at the comments <gasps> and by comment three, mm-hmm. someone is complaining about it. Yeah. And saying, How can they do this? And what an idiot and da da da. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Um, it's become so negative mm-hmm. and I have to say I'm so completely proud and impressed with my husband because the other day he said he is tired of all that negativity and he really, he's mm. just going to start putting out good stuff, like posting yeah. good things on Facebook because he's tired of seeing all the negativity and he's going to see mm. what comes back to him. And I think that's awesome. Yeah. And can I just say it's totally off topic. Do you know that there's caramel in here? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's so exciting. I just saw it. Sorry. <laughs> Are talking, you aware? Talking about positivity oh coming out into, into I didn't your world. That this There's caramel inside right our there. Chapman's chocolate. Thank you, brilliant people at Chapman's who yeah. made this delicious like, ice how cream. How can you make chocolate ice cream better? Oh, I, I know. know. Put caramel inside. Totally good call. Um, oh, my God. Okay, yes, anyway. Yes. So, no, the, like, the comments are like the worst place in the world. I mean, I'm to, compelled like... to read them. <laughs> Even though people say, don't read the comments. I have no, because to read them. I, I, I'm sometimes like... There's no way somebody can make this bad. I know. And yet, right? there always is. And they do. And I yeah. almost feel like it's my mission. Mm-hmm. This is going to sound ridiculous, but I feel like I'm very important. To correct them? No. Oh, okay. Not to correct them, but to mm-hmm. sort of counteract that in my mm-hmm. own life. So I kind of, lately, I, I'm trying to... <sighs> like, Colin is falling apart again. Oh, my God. Like, what? Colin, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> in the comments it's gonna say can't you make a good cone can't that you put your cone properly Esther you're supposed to keep the paper on until see no I mean, I'm gonna keep it in the paper for you well. see yeah. look at you problem solving almost 10 years a mother okay not not your first day on the job <laughs> not my first time not my first ice cream not either. your first ice cream not, almost, a, almost not your first ice cream tonight yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no like I want people to be nicer to each other, mm-hmm. okay? And I have to be nicer to people. And mm-hmm. not not that I'm mean to people. I'm not a mean person, but sometimes you're just clueless or you're just in your own world and you don't, yeah. you don't see, like, the millions of people around you. And so, like, I, I walk around my – when I walk down the street, on my street, I say good morning to people. And it they freaks freak out. people out mm-hmm. because they're like – you could see them like, do I know you? Like the people I know, mm-hmm. of course, oh, good morning, Carrie. Mm-hmm. And it's very nice. It's like such a nice way mm-hmm. to live. And we live in a pretty friendly neighborhood. But when I say it to a, a stranger, like someone I don't know personally. Yeah. And that bugs me. Like I want it to be a nicer world. And I want mm-hmm. it to, I know that's kind of very Pollyanna-ish. No, but... I found that when, so when I left my job mm-hmm. and took on mm-hmm. motherhood as my full-time role, um, I do my shopping now when the kids are in school. Like, right. And like kind of. Off, not peak hours. Right, right, right. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, of course. If I have that opportunity, and I said to Jeff, my husband, mm-hmm. recently, um, I freak people out because I'm by myself, and I will smile at them right. as I'm passing. Like I don't even say hello sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's just like mm-hmm. a smile, and they're like, what? "Do I know like, you? Yeah. Is there something on my eye?" Yeah, like, yeah. and no, it, it's great when people actually smile back and mm-hmm. are just realize like, "Oh, okay, like hi." Um, but yeah, it, it's like, I just like, let's just smile it's very at each other. Simple. Like, let's just go there. It's really simple right? because like that negativity just feeds off itself because then even if they're saying some inane, horrible thing in the comments, mm-hmm. then the next person tries to counteract that and say, mm-hmm. well, no, actually like this is the fact or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then that person responds and then that person, like it just becomes this, the first person who made that negative comment is never going to admit that they were wrong. The yeah. rare person will admit, and then you're like, oh yeah. my god, they actually. Oh, right. How refreshing and how yeah, nice. Yeah, but then I almost don't want those two because you don't like. Just don't get the hope that you're going to save anything, <laughs> right? Because that's why you go back into these comments. So and that's try to, why like... I don't usually respond to myself. I just kind mm-hmm. of I'm compelled to kind of read them because I'm finding, I find it kind of shocking how people are treating mm-hmm. each other. I really don't like it. I don't like that our kids 
Um, now, our, my kids aren't on social media yet. Right. And I'm very pretty careful about what kind of television and stuff that they see. So they're mm -hmm. not even seeing the news or anything horrible yet. But a lot of their friends are seeing different things, especially yeah. as they're getting older. And I don't, I don't want that to be the go-to response to be something horrible. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, it takes just as much time to be kind to someone as it does to be a bitch. Right. Right? So mm -hmm. why would you not want to do that? And I don't understand the negativity piece. I read something really funny the other day. Maybe, what, did you post it? Somebody posted something on Facebook. I was like, let's get our kids ready for social media. Mm -hmm. Let's put their pictures on the fridge and then write crappy comments <laughs> on the underneath. No. did it at school it's so amazing let's put it here and then yeah. like later it'll be like this sucks <laughs> the use of use media is horrible can't you use a different color why is everything always green <laughs> <laughs> who taught you to draw <laughs> you mom yeah. oh. can you imagine yeah so no, i mean God, it made me laugh but it's kind of like yeah i don't want that to be the norm because social media is amazing right like it had like the world is so small now in so many ways right, right? you connect with so many people and Especially as a parent, like somebody across the world is having a similar experience to what we're having. Right. And there's so many positive things that people can do with social. And they do. Like there's a lot of good in social media. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm this nothing little person who has a very, like I don't do much on social media. Mm -hmm. But in my life, like I just, I want it to be better. I want people to be nicer. I want my kids to be nice. Yeah. I know that sounds like a such a lame word it's be, mm. be nice but be and, nice. and my house i'm trying to say more be kind yeah be kind like it's a more of an active thing like what mm. can you do to make this person's day better yeah, so ellen you know? if you want us to come on your show we want our kids to be kind to one <laughs> another and to each other and to everybody so and you know yeah. what makes people kind ice cream yes mm -hmm. oh and you know what we didn't explain Mm. Um, we explained it in the last video that what? didn't that fil that didn't film. Yeah, yeah, we're twinning because we mm. were at a birthday party. <laughs> we were at a birthday party for our kids, not for our kids. Our birth our children were yeah. attending a party. Yeah. there was a clown face yeah. painter. So we've been filming for like just over eleven minutes, and you have no idea why so, we're doing this. this yeah, is like we were at a already. birthday party, and so we decided um, it's not the moms should get face paint too, right? And because that's fun. I didn't drink to do this either. <laughs> like I just me neither. She said she's we're gonna sober. do it, and I'm like, you know what? All right, why not? Um, I'm a good friend. I'm not gonna let you like do, it do this all Oh, why? It's fun. I think it's kind of cute. I yeah. like it. Yeah. And we're all about the fun. I think we you should have, have fun. to be. You have to be. Yeah. So we should we should like give ourselves a challenge because mm. I'm definitely gonna have you back. Yay! So we should like. Do I get more ice cream? Yeah, of course. Yes. No, but we should like. I'm doing what my husband calls the HFD, the Happy Food Dance. Nice. When he eats something he likes, he takes a bite. It's cute. He doesn't even know he's doing it. He'll like take a good steak or something. He'll take a bite and he'll go. It's so cute. <laughs> it's the sweetest thing. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. HFD. Um, no, but we should at least five positive things out okay. on the internet. Okay. I would do that challenge. Okay, so okay. we are challenging you. Anyone who watches. Anybody who watches. <laughs> Mom and her mom. No. <laughs> Booby. My and husband Jenna, yeah. didn't even know about this show. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we're at this birthday party and we're talking about. I said, So when am I coming on your show? This is today. She goes, Come today. I'm like, Yeah, right. Here I am. And her husband's like, What, what show? show? I'm like, Are you kidding me? He says, Yeah, what show? This. He seriously had no clue. She says, you don't follow me on social media. I'm like, but doesn't he follow you in the house? <laughs> like, what's going on? I did those other two while he was away. Because uh, my evening's like, You couldn't send him spend a time. link. I posted on my social media. You found it. Why didn't he? It's a you good point. Think you think while know? he was away, he would be looking more at my social media. Shout out to me. Jeff. Follow your wife on social media and post something friendly underneath the mm -hmm. video. Okay, so what's our challenge going to be? So our challenge is to do five. Either you post okay. something positive, positive okay. or comment positive. Okay, that seems so right. totally it's reasonable. Gotta be if you do easy, that in 15 right? minutes, people, you yeah. can do that. And, and yeah. the, the, the reach of that would be pretty big, I think. Mm -hmm. And so, Maybe try to do it over different things. Over like, different, like on like YouTube, something on, that's a good idea. Facebook. Twitter, okay. whatever. Twitter's got the worst. I've like kind of removed myself from Twitter. I'm mm. on it, but I, I think find there's Twitter a lot. Of, it like... depends how you use Twitter. I think I, I, 
I lurk a lot on Twitter. I used to be on it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I find it, I'm a teacher. So I found Twitter was really, uh, really good for, for, for professional development, actually, and for oh. meeting other teachers virtually. They have all these like virtual chats and okay. it's really interesting that way. That kind of stepped up my teaching practice a couple of years ago. It was That's really cool. interesting, which I never thought of it, it being used that way. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people who use Twitter in a professional capacity to learn from each other, okay. which I really like. All right. Yeah. Um, so it can also be really vicious. Well, but that's unfortunately the internet now, right? right? So I don't want to be one of those vicious. I'm not, and right. you're not. Right. But. I will say, and I don't remember her name. Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. Um, <laughs> that was not kind of me. That's okay. Um, I don't remember her name because it was a video I saw, I think, maybe two years ago now. Mm. And it was a mom, just like us, Um, you know, saying how upset she was, how... Back in like the 80s mm -hmm. when there was um, America's Most Wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that right? show. Yeah. And that guy was saying how his kid went missing. Yeah, right? I remember that because I, I'm a lot older than you are. So I actually remember that show. I remember that case, that particular case of right. that the man who hosted it and his child. And she was saying that when she watched it with her mom, her mom was devastated for this guy. Right. And it was like, that could have been me. Yeah. Right? And now it almost seems like if you hear about something happening, the it's first like, question what is, where it, were the parents? Where was the mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, first it's where was the mother, and then uh -huh. some people may correct themselves, well, where were the parents? Yeah. Um, but we've gotten to such a judgy place and such a, like, but really, it like it could be you, right? And, and anytime there's a story of, I turned my head for two seconds. Right. Or... Like, um, the one that's always killed me is the Neville Lake story. I know. Um, like how, uh, that, how many times weekend, a day do you think about them? Uh, you know, more than you might think. Yeah, me too. Um, the weekend that it happened, it happened to be Jeff and I's 10 year anniversary. Oh, okay. And we had one of those one night, like away. Okay. Like we went, um, to Yucky, uh, we, no, just for laughs festival Oh, fun. and a hotel for the night. Fancy. And, yeah. Right. Mm. And my parents and grandmother had my kids. And so I'm like, are you similar. kidding me? And like, when I heard the story in the news, I was freaking out. Yeah. Cause I'm like, it like, it could have been us. Yeah. It could have been us. And so I just don't understand why so many stories that you hear mm -hmm. out there, it gets those comments or, or like even people at work will just like, Oh, well, what did the mother do? Or what are the, and not that one mm -hmm. maybe in particular because no, of, of that was a completely that was a particular, different, like that was a completely horrible. That situation. was an impaired, impaired driving case. And it was the, the fault was obviously completely with the driver right. who was charged and should remain in jail for a long time and may not. And yeah. that's horrible. Um, the thing I always think is like with very few exceptions, I really think that everyone's doing the best they can. Yeah. I really do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why can't we just remember that? Mm -hmm. You know what? We all, we have all our, we all have our days where we're amazing. Hi buddy. <laughs> Her son. He's so cute. Um, we all have our days when we're awesome and we all have mm -hmm. our days when we're like crap and yeah. should have just stayed in bed that day yeah. and whatever. <laughs> so we and did. <laughs> so we did. The ice cream was a really awesome idea. And I just, we're all doing the best we can. So why mm. can't we just help each other a little bit and try to make everybody's day like a tiny bit easier? I just don't understand mm -hmm. why that's so complicated. Right. And why we don't, why more people don't do that. You know what I think of quite often? It's going to sound ridiculous, is Anne Frank. Okay. Okay. I know that sounds stupid. No. But, you know, there's that phrase that she said, that I, I still believe in spite of everything that people mm. are really good at heart. Mm -hmm. And I think about that sentence a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the world right now is so politically, there's a lot of things happening that I personally do not agree with. Right. Um, and there's just so much negativity. Mm -hmm. And... I'd like to believe that most of the people are good at heart. Um, I want to believe that. I want to believe that too. I want to believe that there are, I, I do believe that there are more good people than bad. Mm -hmm. I think that media skews our perception of yeah. safety and skews our perception of like crime and all that. Oh, it did it again. Our, our other camera went out. So we're just going to try to get it back. Mm -hmm. Um, What's if, going on with your technology, woman? I wonder if this is it maybe system just too might long? just be, yeah. Mm. Maybe it's just. Okay. It 
itching my nose. Hi, we're back. Oh, she's we're back. And I'm itching my nose. <laughs> it cut out there. We're still here. We're still here. Um. But. Anyway, I was just saying that. I just think that it doesn't take that much time to be nice and I and kind. Yeah. And I really think that if it doesn't. You should just do that. Just go and say hello right. to somebody. Like it's so little. It's like two yes. seconds. Mom. Hi, buddy. Hi, Josh. A bad baby. Oh my god. Who's goodness. a bad baby? Boss Scooter. baby. Oh, Scooter. Yes, Scooter. Scooter. He's a character on the Boss Baby oh. uh, Netflix the series. TV show. Yeah. yeah, I've only seen it a couple times. Yeah. I'm not familiar with Scooter. Yeah, he's a, a bad baby that Ooh, is causing sc- trouble. Ooh. Yes. Thanks for the ice cream. That was awesome. Oh, no problem. The second one was really like- good too. Because <laughs> I discovered the caramel in the middle. Now I have to buy you like a box of ice cream. That's that, it's fine. It, okay. it, that, that's what friends are for. Yes, is, it is. is sharing ice cream. ice cream and stuff. Yeah. Can't see you now. There you are. No, I'm, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I have to go put my children to bed soon. Okay, yeah. I guess I should too. <laughs> eh. um, but I won't judge you that they're still awake. Because mine are still awake. See? And see how that works? See how just... that works? It's like, you know what? They'll eventually sleep. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow is Sunday, and they can yeah. sleep in. Yes, Josh. Scooter, busky. Scooter, busky. Scooter, busky. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're going to come back. I'm and totally going to we're gonna gonna talk back. about our positivity challenge. Yes. Okay. And, and how now I have that. to figure out what I'm going to yes. do. Okay. Okay. And I think what should be better than, not better than, if you can only find something to repost that you see, that's okay too. Yeah. Uh, Maybe like, I'm going to try to like look for something too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can do this. Yes, you all can right. Do this. All yes. right. Okay, awesome. thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. This was amazing. Yes, yes. thank you. So and so uh, we will see you guys again soon. And okay. please post something positive. Yes, yay. Bye. Bye.